Welcome, this is Ken Sevahar with Solution Systems. In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate the new capabilities within Dynamics 365 Business Central to merge existing customer records, uh, and which similar functionality exists also to allow you to merge existing vendor records. So what I'm going to do is pull up a list of customers here. And if I look at my list of customers, you can see here I have uh, a customer, 30,000 School of Fine Art, with a pretty large balance uh, due here. And then I have another customer here, the School of Fine Art, uh, which is similar. It uh, looks like this one may have been uh, created accidentally, or uh, someone didn't know that school, it was under School of Fine Art. So if I click on the School of Fine Art here, I'm just going to go in and navigate to the history. And I just want to see that, indeed, there was just one single posted transaction associated uh, with this customer. So what I really want to do is uh, I want to really uh, merge this customer here that has the single entry with uh, this existing School of Fine Art customer that has a larger balance. And indeed, if I go look at the history here, uh, you can see that there are a significant number of entries. So I really want to move all that activity from the other customer into this one. So what I'm going to do is from this customer that I want to merge into, uh, I'm going to select actions and functions merge with. And uh, a, a window opens here uh, and it selects, it says choose a record to merge with. So my current record is, is customer number 30,000. And then I'm going to merge that with this other customer here the School of Fine Art, here, C30,000. And what it does here for me is it opens up this window here. I'm going to expand this view. And within this window here, you can see it compares all of the different fields uh, and existing records uh, that are associated with each of these customers. So what I have an opportunity to do is confirm uh, which values do I want to maintain. So I can say, you know what, let's maintain all of these existing records with my current customer here. Um, but I may go down here and say, you know what, on some of these, maybe I, I actually want the payment terms code from my alternative vendor. Instead of current month, I want it to be 15 days. So I'm going to override uh, that value there. And I scroll down, I look at, I look at the remain, remainder of the customers, and then maybe also these two here. I want to use my check date. Uh, formats here. If I scroll down, uh, continue below here, uh, you can see that there are a series of related tables that are associated with each of these customers. Uh, general ledger entries, customer ledger entries or receivables, some shipment headers, shipment lines, invoices, maybe there are credit memos and, and other related uh, entries here. So I see no, zero conflicts identified here. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and proceed. So I'll click on merge. Are you sure you want to merge the records? Uh, this step cannot be undone. So I'm, I'm going to hit yes here. Uh, there is no undo merge function. So you want to be careful about utilizing this, this functionality. If you now notice, uh, uh, the school of fine art is now gone from my customer list. Also, if you look carefully, my School of Fine Art balance has increased from 53,000 and change up to 54,000. Uh, if I click on this customer, all of the data from my uh, that other customer has been merged in. Specifically, it's this one invoice, uh, 103221 for $392.80 uh, that was moved over. Uh, along with all of the other associated transactions, posted shipments, invoices, uh, GL entries, inventory entries, uh, and all of that has, has been merged. Uh, in addition, uh, the last thing here, if I scroll down to the payments tab here, you'll see that my payments term code for this uh, existing customer 30,000 has now been updated uh, to 15 days, along with the check date format uh, and separator from my other customer that got merged with this one. So uh, the same functionality exists uh, over on the vendor side if you have duplicate vendors that ultimately need to get merged uh, for whatever reason. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I enjoy using this great new feature within Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. Thank you.